Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Sunday, November 30th, around 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. Take a look at the massive sunspots, two regions now turning around the limb. And we also have a massive coronal hole, which will be facing Earth in just two days. A lot to talk about, including flight cancellations and more snow. Keep calm. It's boom time. How much snow fell in Minnesota during Saturday's uh, storm? Well, quite a bit. Almost a foot of snow in Minnesota City, 11.2 inches, 10.5 in Fairmount, 9.8 in Winnebago, 9.4 in La Crescent, Maple View, 9 inches in Winoa and Wyndham, 8.9 inches in Chester. Well, and you can pretty much pick up what we're putting down. Saturday was no, the snowiest November day in Chicago ever, according to forecasters. So that says a lot. And I'm sure Al Gore is not happy about that headline. A quick look over at FlightAware tells the story. 24,000 plus delays today and over 1,000 cancellations Total cancellations in the U.S., 701. So a bad day to be flying home. Unfortunately, one of the busiest travel days of the year. A nor'easter could bring first major snow to the Hudson Valley and other areas, including Pennsylvania. And there it is setting up right now over Kansas, that nor'easter. As the storm we saw yesterday is moving off the coast, there is the next storm that is coming towards us. And now the full forecast. We've got snow in the Rockies, showers and thunderstorms along the Gulf Coast. Potential winter storm for northern mid-Atlantic and interior New England building. A winter-like pattern will continue over much of the lower 48 over the next few days, with snow stretching from the Rockies today into the mid-Mississippi Valley Monday. Showers and thunderstorms will develop along the Gulf Coast and southeast on Monday as the storm moves northward late Monday into Tuesday. And we could see some extreme icing here in the Appalachians from the storm Monday night into Tuesday morning. With winter weather possible from the central Appalachians to interior New England. And let's <clears throat> walk that storm through for you. Here is the current storm which will be moving offshore in the next several hours overnight with some residual flurries, lake effect, as that second system builds in here uh, on to Monday into Tuesday, which will be a lose day. Look at that. And heavy snow on the backside. Let's take a look at total snowfall accumulation from this storm just a few days out from now. Here we go, Monday into Tuesday there. And that storm by Monday night will be moving east and be dumping significant amounts, areas in the Hudson Valley all the way up into Connecticut and parts of uh, New Hampshire, maybe picking up more than a foot of snow. It's showing uh, 16 there, I think. <laughs> and as the models run through, well, the snow pattern, it just gets more snow. So a very good snow season for the West and the Northeast as far as ski resorts are concerned. Uh, good news there. Seismic update. The West Coast continues to rumble. I'm sure some nerves are frayed there. Overall, low-level activity worldwide. And this is a fantastic eruption happened earlier today. A rare orange pyroclastic flow descending down Santa Guita. And so you can see the beginning of it there. Actually, three colors of smoke. You got a yellow, a bluish, and the orange. And that's a very rare orange pyroclastic flow there. All the links will be below. Worldwide Volcano News for the day, November 30th, we've got Pudase to 18,000, San Gay to 20,000, Fuego to 14,000, Santa Guito to 15,000, <coughs> Manam, 8,000 foot blast there, 16,000 foot blast at Shivalush, Sukunajima, 8,000 foot today, 15,000 at Raventador, Semadu, an eruption reported, as well as one at Ibu, 18,000 foot blasted, put us say, possible volcanic ash to 20,000 feet, San Gay, Fuego to 14,000, Santa Guito to 14, elevated tremors continuing at Pudase, 
Shivalush to 16,000. There you can see the uh, smoke there. An isolated puff at Sabankaya. And that wraps up Worldwide Volcano News for the day, bringing us to space weather. And our main concern is this coronal hole, which will be facing us December 2nd, and these sunspots, these two groups that are now turning in. We have a 20% chance of X flaring at any moment, but it, not a lot of flaring is going on currently. That's good news there. But things can change. Three-day geomagnetic forecast is all quiet, but after the second, I imagine, because of this coronal hole, we will be, there will probably be a G1 or G2 geomagnetic storm forecast. So we're keeping a close eye on these massive sunspots in this coronal hole so you don't have to. Now, for all you hunters, wild pigs are turning neon blue in California, and they're triggering warnings. Game hunters have found startlingly neon blue flesh inside of wild pigs in California, triggering advisories on potential contamination. The contamination is from rat poison, and rat poison containing the chemical compound difasinone. They're often sold dyed blue for identification. The compound's use has been highly restricted in California, but apparently some of it has gotten through the cracks. And there we can see the rodenticide bait here with the blue dye. Uh, so don't eat the blue meat. And that includes any animal you find, including deer or turkeys or whatever you're hunting. It could be contaminated. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday and your flights haven't been canceled. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And that is a boom. Ding, ding, ding.